Hello viewers, welcome back to our demo class. Today we shall start with linear regression. When we talk about the word regression, regression is a statistical approach for determining the best fitting straight line for a collection of data. And the resulting straight line is referred to as the word regression line. So this is called the regression line. In this case, I'm going to consider a bivariate okay so just like the previous class we had that we have our x a pair and y okay i'm going to consider a linear regression and one of the advantage of this regression is that it can even be used for prediction okay now the equation of a regression line the equation of regression line for an independent variable x and the dependent variable y is this. This is the equation for a word regression line. Please take note of this. This is for a linear regression that can be used for prediction, like I said earlier on. So, where my y cap is the predicted y value for a given x value, the slope m, that is our m, represents the slope. So, and the y intercept at b and given as this. So, this is the formula for calculating the slope, and this is the formula for calculating b. So, using the same example we use for correlation coefficient, and don't forget in our correlation coefficient in our previous video under statistics for beginners, we got our r to be 0 0.99, which shows that there is a strong positive linear correlation. So, using the same data set. We want to compute our m, which is the slope, and also b, for us to be able to fit this regression line. So using the same data set we used in the previous lesson, where we have our summation x, summation y, x squared, and summation x, y, given to us as shown in this picture. So we are going to compute the value for our m. Don't forget that our n is the same thing as what number of observation which is 5 okay just so we have 5 multiplied by 282 minus 37 and um, summation y is the same thing as 31 over n which is 5 multiplied by 337, which is the same thing as summation s squared, minus 37 all squared. So from this, I have that my m is 263 over 316. So my m is approximately 0 0.83. So I've gotten the value of my m. So I need to get B. And don't forget, we are making use of um, this formula for B, which is summation Y over N minus M, summation X over N. So, which is the same thing as summation Y, 31 over N over 5, minus M, which is 0 0.83, multiplied by 37, which is the same thing as summation X over N, which is over 5. So from this, I have that my B will be equal to 6.2 minus 0 0.83 multiplied by 7.4. So my B is going to be approximately 0 0.06. So from this, we can write out the equation. And our equation is going to be that means equation of um, the linear regression equation is now going to be y equals y x equals 0 0.83x plus 0 0.06. Don't forget, this is our um, linear regression equation. My y at my m, which is the same thing as 0 0.83x plus b, which is 0 0.06. So now, using this, we can use this equation, linear regression equation, to make prediction. So let me rewrite the equation. 
So now, in this question, we have that how much will be the sales for 15 ads per week? And don't forget that my X is the same thing as the ads. So we want to predict the sales if we had 15 ads for that week. So with this, we can use this to predict. That is Y equals to 0 0.83 if my X is 15. So we want to know the possible sales that we can make. So my y hat is going to be 12.51. So this is the predicted sales. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please kindly subscribe to support this channel. See you next video.